the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the red corner with his head trainer, Joseph Germain. Wearing black with silver, 39 victories. Harvey, 39 fights, 35 victories. Carlo! Wearing white with green, he captured Olympic gold in 2012, and now as a professional, 19 for writing, defending, undefeated Anthony Joshua. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. 90,000 at Wembley. Will it be Joshua with these or? Is there a sensation of shots and really go for broke? Who's going to see New Zealand with Joseph Parker? He went into the tenth with Allegra, had his finest hour at Wembley when he had the cup. Yeah, nice shot, Jeff. You know, as good as you are, as good as Joshua knows he or thinks he is, he just relax into it, get the jab going. There's so much it's to shot. Towering over Carlos Tucker. He's on the back foot. Tries the left hook, but but he was in shape. In shape. You know, he's relaxed, he's concentrating. This is all right to start. He's on his back foot. Joshua, you know, just flick out that sharp jab. And the black and silver of Carlos Takao from the Wazi Legrand just that he can do well here. Not promising us he's gonna become the new world champion. And a very different one to Pulev. Very different. Straight in with a head there, actually. Two when Dylan White caught him. And Takan aiming to crunch a left hook over. It looked like a heavy clash of heads. Josh looking like he's going to work here slightly. But there you see it. Bleeding profusely. That's not going to be good. And that certainly spurred Joshua on to start. But yeah, put some last shots together there, Joshua. Maybe, you know, put a jab right on that affected area. A bit wild from Joshua, but there's a still backing off, Carl. There's a lot of blood and a lot of... Still focused. Joshua, his eyes not leaving, not wobbled, not shaken, nothing like that, but the nose is... I think it's only going to see Kane for Carlos Takam. Anthony will fight. Here's a third round. As soon as that gap's closed, he's, he's certainly not going looking. See his eyes watering and the nosebleed, which we've talked about, and um, he threw three punches away from losing his unbeaten record in that Titanic. So we're just trying to settle down, just trying to get in range of that jab, looking for the right hand. He's been helpful to the game there. And the left hand from Takam and Joshua. Here, Joshua, as he backs up Takam, so he's, he's going to be looking to put some power. I feel like he wants to get straight down to business, Josh, and try and make an impression on Takam because he's annoyed. I think he likes it. Tries the body as well. Takam and Crusher Smith in a massive upset. The Nick but he looks capable, doesn't he? He looks he's moving around the ring. Takam with the jab and come down the side with the right hook, and I think that will be a corner, just giving him a real confidence boost there. He was with Jean Takam up, not rush things here. I think he does, I think he needs to back him up behind the relaxed jet. Just that aggressive counter from Takam, because he's looking at firing back. There'll be stamina issues if Joshua doesn't stop him early, the early fight to Ross Purity a bit like that, when he outlasted in the Ukraine, but Joshua has that cut there at the right time, cut, and that's a nasty cut for Takam, he's complaining that Joshua will be right on him, like what Joshua needed, he needed a sign, something to get him back, and he's opened a nice cut up there, a big cut, that the fight could carry on much longer with that cut, it's really bad, and Takam is both still standing, and Takam's gonna go for it, Joshua has to put a glove down there. Carlos Takam, he's in pain. Carlos Takam goes back to his corner. There's the bell. The eye is... He's, he's blocking his vision. I think he's going to just go for it now and try and land something effective on Josh. You can see he's wincing. It's affecting him. And he must never have been caught like this before. This is planting his feet. I'm really going for it now, Joshua. Good work. Have a look at the cut. The doctor's going to come in.
The doctor says go on, but Takam is... was over that, and his predatory instincts have seen it in the past. I think he's going to try and close the show here, Joshua. Right eye. Joshua dabs in his nose, and there's blood as well. He just needs to keep himself composed. The Takam still dangerous. The leather, Carlos Takam, trying the rights and left. Joshua would have had to deal with Kubrat Pula. You can see that both are wounded, but it seems like Anthony Joshua is dealing with there, Joshua. Takam stamping up to it well, but they were hurtful punches from Joshua. He's so down through this, but Takam, stubborn, brave. It's a horrendous cut, Adam, to be fair to Carlos Takam. And he's shipping an awful lot of punishment. Really bad, the cut. They're going to have another look at it, I'm sure, in between the rounds. Two warriors from Noisy Le Grand in Paris. Father Cam through a lot of punches. Is he feeling the pace of that last run? Who certainly. And we were talking, Carl, that if Takam. Right hand from Joshua there. Back Takam comes from Carlos Takam to go in with the most feared man. Possibly who's in recess in the heavyweight world. And he's taking Joshua's punches. He's taking it with his loading, so he's putting heavy shots together. Oh, with good uppercut, though. Joshua yeah. found it. Nice he did that to Klitschko, and that was a perfect punch. Takam just wobbled there. And the eye is a complete mess. Ended with an injury or a cut. We want to see this fight finish conclusively. Takam. He's touched down once. He's trying to... Around the body of Joshua, and that will affect him late on, but you just get the feeling this fight isn't going very far. Anything for, for Takam because he's just under relentless pressure getting caught. He's in this fight and he's, he's, he's digging in. It's what, it's what makes us common. Carlos Takam, respect you fighters so much. There's a cut on the both eyes cap and he's still blasting. Two big shots from Joshua and he fights straight back with hooks of his own. Landing on Joshua's chin, who here is injured, he's on his back foot, he's bleeding heavy but he's still firing back. Championship fighters have Anthony Joshua pick these things up also while this fight's going on. Right hand from... We're talking about ahead of the game against Deontay Wilder. Big shots from Carlos Takam. He's still striking that he loves so much. Standing him in excellent stead, but these punches have been... Showing a bit of bravery there himself. Firing back after getting caught with shooting like this. Well, I think Joshua's Big feeling... Big right hand from Joshua. Talking to Takam. This one-minute rest will serve him well. Good round. Superstar. But boxing's enough. This. He's not out of this, no, but he's been getting hit back. But he's still in here. He's still looking fresh. He's still... The only thing I could say he's not doing at the moment. I'm be a bit busier with that jab, Adam. Time of the fight. Doesn't... Well, you better give Tucker massive respect for staying in there and try. Problems, you leave gaps over the top, into the middle, round the head. Didn't have easy nights with them. And again a left hook, and Takam says, come on then, what's this? Body and head work there from Joshua, two nice hooks there. It's sheer self-belief from... It's that one opportunity never happens. He can go back to France and back to his family in the camp. The body, Takam says, doesn't matter where you hit me. I'm... Medically, everything's fine. Of everybody who's enjoying this one, Joshua, he's short, thick, he's a good, solid heavyweight, and Anthony's finding out tonight. But he's not having it all his own way, he's, he's not dictating every second of every round. Takam still light on his hold, but no real signs. Of, um, good right hand from Takam, but... 35 wins, Carlos Takam, he's not a powder puncher, and maybe later on... ...go here. The jab from Anthony Joshua is really affecting Carlos Tapp. About Anthony Joshua. Slowed down. Went to round nine, he slowed down. Maybe because he wants to, maybe wants to take the time of bottom. Coming forward. Maybe that was always the plan from their camp. Gore's got the edge in power. That was a lovely... Well, but remember, he damaged his nose. Very early on, who's fought with bad cuts to both eyes, rolling on, and he still is coming. Still swinging away, 
It's not a big problem for Joshua, but he's breathing heavy now. He's feeling the pace of these rounds. He's worked an opportunity for Anthony Joshua to land one of them big shots. Let's not forget him, you know, punching his arsenal. So don't be surprised if we see the end. Good punishment because Takam's not going to win this. Anthony Joshua now retain outstanding as a challenger and his freshness that got him through what was a torrid. And so he's not happy about our stoppage. Could have got hurt there. He, uh, what I'll say is, he's one or two punches from going to sleep in my head. From him about the nose, about the grit and toughness. Off oh, smiling. Phil Edwards, very experienced referee, having a look at these damaging shots going in. Jake, you to see him show slow. that he's hurt. He slowed down. I mean, Tackham wanted the moral victory. Yes. I think he wanted to hear the final bell. And I think the crowd, why they're booing, no one boos at an Anthony Joshua fight, but I understand where they're coming from. He has a moral victory tonight by getting as far as he did, but ultimately... you got decision for Phil Edwards to make. But Anthony Joshua... Look like moments and... Some defensive uh, issues probably to tan What we'll remember from this is the effort, energy and substance. It's big drastic changes with very short notice. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at one minute. 34 seconds of WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Lovely guy, Carlos Takam, as well. He's been nothing. Carlos Takam, <laughs> that's just the man, isn't he? He does, yeah. I mean, he, he came, he didn't come to make the numbers up, did he? he this was that fight everything that you expected it would be? A tough, bloody battle. Listen, I come to fight, I don't sit on the edge and make decisions. Down round by round, and unfortunately, the ref stopped it before. He's like, you know, like Holyfield, coming under, popping up. But IBO, the WBA and the IBF belt, and they have mandatories. Provide all my family here as well. So thank you all, thank you all very much. There you go, congratulations, well done. I want to see him come back to the sport. Anthony Joshua wants to be in the real fights. I promise you, I promise the flag, flag fine. That's what Anthony Joshua has done, but I promise you he will fight anyone. You're getting a great round of applause from the fans here. Oh, I respect Antonio. Antonio is a great champion. I respect him. Voters for a full camp and a rematch. Yeah, I was. I won the rematch. Continues. Got to talk about the stoppage, Johnny, straight away. Too early in your eyes, social media. Just gained 80,000 plus fans with the display he's put on. That first fight in Manchester, everybody wants a definitive finish. He won. knows he's, he's fighting someone that hasn't had a 12-week camp. It's difficult, you know, complacency is a subconscious thing. He's put, there's no doubt about it, the stoppage was premature. Was it going to come at anyway? Maybe it would have done, but yeah. it was definitely... In the, in the second round, Joshua, clash of heads, surprise. What happened is, after this clash of heads, boom, right in the nose, but... Th that is the point, Johnny, you turn to me. Exactly, so what happens is, every punch he's throwing, that this man to take him out of there, but then he realised, Takam's cute enough to slip the shot. somebody out with it, every shot you throw, and you look at him, he's, he's tightening up, he's trying to load up with every shot, he's missing his, because now he's thinking, I should not have given a man a chance that shouldn't have one. Johnny's very similar to another fighter who was... Who was there you go. But a little bit Same cuter gym. on the inside. John yeah. Mark Womack was more... He was slipping, he was rolling on the man. shots, he was getting close, he was, he was riding the shots, you know, he was very crafty in there, and just two rounds and the, and the rounds after that then he, that's when he's loaded up thinking i want you out of here but takan was ex stoppages premature so what could have anthony have done different tonight because for me he just looked a little bit flat and sometimes when that someone pulls out and, Listen, and that happens it's that hard. Happens, it's hard. You, 